On September 10, 2024, the U.S. Army reached two critical milestones in the development of its future tactical unmanned aircraft system, FTUS, program. These advancements included the successful completion of the Modular Open Systems Approach, MOSA, compliance evaluations and the flight demonstrations of competing prototypes from Griffin Aerospace and Textron Systems. The progress in both areas represents significant steps toward transforming how Brigade Combat Teams, BCTs, conduct reconnaissance and surveillance missions in modern warfare. The MOSA compliance evaluations, conducted in May 2024, marked a crucial phase in the FTUS program. Both Griffin Aerospace, based in Madison, Alabama, and Textron Systems, located in Huntsville, Alabama, participated in these evaluations. As part of the testing, the mission computers of the prototypes from both vendors were replaced with third-party surrogate mission computers, which were equipped with a mix of third-party and vendor software. This swap allowed independent evaluators to measure how open and modular the systems were, ensuring alignment with MOSA objectives. MOSA is a U.S. Army initiative aimed at enhancing the interoperability and flexibility of its unmanned aircraft systems, UAS. The framework's modular design enables easier integration of new technologies and allows for specific components to be updated without overhauling the entire system. This approach not only fosters healthy competition between suppliers, promoting innovation and reducing costs, but also simplifies system maintenance, improving operational availability and extending the lifespan of military equipment. Following MOSA verifications, the FTUS team conducted flight demonstrations with prototypes from both Griffin Aerospace and Textron Systems at the Redstone Test Center, RDC, in Alabama. These demonstrations showcased essential capabilities such as vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, reduced acoustic signatures on the move OTM, command and control, rapid deployment, system integration and overall flight performance. Both Griffin Aerospace and Textron Systems will now continue developing their prototypes, incorporating feedback from these demonstrations. The companies will deliver production-ready prototypes for further testing at RDC, where the U.S. Army will ultimately determine which system will become part of its tactical unmanned aircraft system program. The FTUS is designed to provide BCTs with the ability to conduct reconnaissance and surveillance operations, gathering actionable intelligence to maintain dominance in multi-domain operations. Griffin Aerospace's Valiant is a Category 3 VTOL platform that has been developed for the FTUS program. Designed to meet the demanding needs of multi-domain operations, the Valiant integrates MOSA, allowing for the incorporation of interchangeable payloads and enabling rapid capability upgrades. This flexibility enhances the UAS's ability to adapt to evolving battlefield requirements. One of the key features of the Valiant is its ability to maintain robust communication links through command and control on the move. This capability is essential for operations in contested environments where traditional communication infrastructures may be compromised. The heavy fuel engine of the Valiant minimizes logistical support requirements, enabling extended operations without the need for frequent refueling or extensive ground equipment. Textron Systems Aerosond MK 4.8 Hybrid Quad HQ is another key contender in the FTUS program. The Aerosond HQ uses hybrid quad rotor technology providing VTOL capabilities, which make it runway-independent and ideal for operations in austere or remote environments. The system can be rapidly deployed by two soldiers and transported using tactical vehicles or helicopters like the UH-60. With a flight endurance of 14 hours, a maximum altitude of over 15,000 feet, and a payload capacity of 30 pounds, the Aerosond HQ is well-suited for long-range reconnaissance and surveillance missions. Its use of a heavy fuel engine, JP-8, further simplifies ground logistics. Like the Valiant, the Aerosond HQ is designed with MOSA in mind, facilitating future technology integrations while keeping costs manageable. The FTUS program is part of the U.S. Army's broader initiative to modernize its aviation capabilities. Managed by the Program Executive Office, PO, for Aviation at Redstone Arsenal, Alabama, the FTUS program aims to rapidly field transformational UAS capabilities at all levels of Army formations. By leveraging MOSA and developing systems like the Griffin Valiant and Textron Aerosond HQ, the U.S. Army is positioning itself to maintain its asymmetric advantage in large-scale combat operations against peer adversaries. The FTUS's ability to offer VTOL for runway independence, OTM command and control, and soldier-level maintenance makes it a game-changing solution for future reconnaissance and surveillance operations. These systems will provide BCT commanders with the tools they need to gather intelligence and maintain situational awareness during complex, 
multi-domain operations. As Griffin Aerospace and Textron Systems continue to refine their prototypes, the U.S. Army will be closely evaluating each system's potential to fulfill the FTUAS mission. The combination of advanced UAS platforms and MOSA's flexibility promises to bring cutting-edge capabilities to the battlefield, ensuring that the U.S. Army remains a dominant force in modern warfare.